In this problem, we're being asked to find the zeros of a big complex polynomial function and give their multiplicities. And multiplicity is just a big fancy word uh, to refer to how many times something happens. Um, so you can have a factor or a zero of an equation that uh, comes up numerous times. So if we look at this one, for example, we've got, and this is in a factored form, so this is gonna be pretty convenient for us, but we've got the factor x minus two to the third power. That's just like saying x minus two times x minus two times x minus two. So that's x minus two to the third power. To figure out what the zero is from a factor, we'd set it equal to zero. So we'd take x minus two, set it equal to zero and solve, and we get x equals two. The shortcut for that is just reverse the sign here of this number. So we've got a positive two as a zero of this function. Its multiplicity is three because there are three of these. So if you see something like this with a power, the multiplicity is going to be the power here. So um, the multiplicity of three, that's the zero where x is two. Let's look at the rest of this. All of these are multiplicities of just one. It's no extra powers on them. This one would be a negative six. I'm just reversing the sign here. This one would be a positive six and this one would be a negative eight. So the multiplicity of one are, are negative six, six, and negative eight, and there's nothing with a multiplicity of two in this one. So that's how to find the zeros of a function and their multiplicities when you've got a polynomial that's written in this factored form.